people have been looking for stories to, to help raise their spirits. Uh, and I'm standing with an individual right now who's certainly been at the forefront of that, uh, bringing a little bit of levity uh, just by shining those pearly whites. Uh, this is, of course, probably the most famous smile in all of southern Alberta. Heck, all of the country right yeah, now. world. World. I, I'm joined by Sean Weeb. Uh, he is a firefighter, volunteer firefighter with the Nanton Fire Department and uh, also viral sensation, right? Tell us, okay, so just for a quick little bit of background, of course, uh, if you haven't seen the picture yet, uh, it was you rescuing a lady uh, just earlier this week. Uh, tell us a little bit about how that happened and uh, just everything about it. Um, well, with everybody coming onto the boats and the helicopters onto the east side of 12th Avenue, um, this one individual lady, her boots were saturated and soaked with water. So instead of having her walk through more water, I'm like, well, I'll, I'll carry you. She's like, oh, you can't do that. I'm like, I'm big and strong, <laughs> just joking around. So I scooped her up, and, and as I was walking, she's like, oh, the last time I was carried like this was on my wedding night. <laughs> and big smile, and that's just what went everywhere. So And then I put her down, and I haven't seen her since, and went back to the to the boat launch and yeah just kept pulling more people out and so when did you first uh start to uh to hear that this picture was making the rounds and uh what's going through your head now that you've become a viral sensation <laughs> well uh, a friend of mine uh that was on the fire department with us years ago he's moved up north and he had facebooked me asking like is this you in this picture i'm like I have no idea. So he took a photo of it and tagged me in it on Facebook. I'm like, uh, yeah, that's me. And it just took off from there. And then uh, uh, the Cal or Edmonton Sun photo, they posted it, I guess, and it kept going and sharing and sharing. And, and yeah, it's... It's overwhelming sometimes. <laughs> now, this is where I have to uh, be kind of the bearer of bad news for a lot of people out there uh, with this question. Uh, you're married. Yes. With children. Yep. Uh, so that's going to break a lot of hearts out there. But I guess <laughs> let's talk about their reaction, what, what your wife and your children are saying about this. Um, my wife, she's actually enjoying it. She's, she thinks it's very funny um, with all the comments and then everybody coming back. Yes, he's married. He's married. He's married to my sister. Like she's my sister, and yeah, he's my brother-in-law, so it's it's quite good. Now, I guess just on a serious note, uh, just talk to me a little bit about uh, what this week has been like and, and, and what it's meant for you and uh, obviously what you've seen amongst the people you've been interacting with. Um, it's been very long, and we've been going, uh, helping out other departments while they're all out. Uh, we set up a pump crew and head out to Blackie, help them out, and the MDF Foothills. And uh, just at the the EOCs, talking to everybody, helping them out. Uh, yeah, it's setting up cots for for all the evacuees. So it's it's been long, but I've had a few days off here and there as well to spend time with family. So certainly, it's been good. Certainly well deserved. All right, this is Sean Weeb with the Nanton Fire Department, uh, the most famous smile in all of Alberta. And uh, as we send things back to studio and Ted, uh, give us one more smile. <laughs> A <laughs> very humble you very Sean Weed with BT Edmonton's Courtney Terrio just outside of High River this morning. Thanks for that, Courtney. Uh, around the corner on a special edition of Breakfast Television, we'll meet more volunteers. We're going to chat with Wild Rose leader, High River resident Danielle Smith. Also, Hockey Night in Canada's Kelly Rudy is standing by.